Okay, so we've just got here to Pier Aquatics to drop off the predator fish. Or should I say, X predator fish now. They're all doing okay, which is good. Let me spin the camera around. We've got a box of Oscars, we've got a birch and a peacock bass. So we're just gonna go in, and let them know that we've turned up. What's up with your shoes, bro? Look at them. <laughs> Comment on Sam's shoes. What do we think, guys? Give him some love. <laughs> They're big rigs finest, they are. So bad. You've gone so red now, it's untrue. So bad. Um, but yeah, so we'll uh, we'll go let them know that we're here. And uh, yeah, then we'll have a bit of a walk around, eh? Okay, so just rocked into Pier Aquatics. We've dropped the fish off. They said it's A-OK -okay for us to have a walk around and look at various different fish that they've got going on. various different neons and stuff. I know Pier Aquatics do import from all over the world, which is why the prices are so good. They don't necessarily deal with like wholesalers or anything like that. Uh, I think they are one of the largest in the Northeast. Absolutely incredible setup these guys have got though. Different minnows. Instantly the quality of everything is like... Second to none, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely second to none. Wow. They've pretty much got anything that you could ever want. Never seen that I haven't. Splendid loaches, I think these are. But love the way that they all shoal together. Different Danny O's. Hundreds of fish. Sorted goldfish, some A grades. Calico, Ryukans. Different quarries. These turtles. Like little catfish. Little catfish, yeah. Oh no, they are catfish, yeah. They're on the bottom as well. Lots and lots of different fish. Neon green rasboras. Wow. Absolutely incredible. them all absolutely loving life super happy super healthy which is awesome we'll clip down there i know where uh, pier aquatics are one of the largest suppliers of l numbers in the uk Jimrin yeah some nice lovely jimmering shags in there to be fair Jimrin's. different sort of sarasa comets shabunkins but literally, this is the view that you get when you walk in. It's just absolutely incredible. Some yellow comets. Butterflies, absolutely incredible. I'm a big, big fan of butterflies. These tanks are super, super cool. And for those of you asking, can you keep flexing with uh, koi? You can indeed. There is one there at the back. It's absolutely awesome, some, some decent sized koi as well, so for the koi lovers on the channel. Pick one here, which one are you taking home? If I was to pick one, I'd probably go with the, uh, the Goshiki at the back there. Or the Sankey. Yeah. Some bigger ones over here. Different black goldfish as well, different arandas. Green tench, golden grass carps. Tancho Becco, looks absolutely awesome. And then up here, Tiger shovel nose catfish. Absolutely 
incredible. Anybody let me know what that is in the comments? I've not seen that before. Wow. I think so. There's hundreds of them. No concept of personal space. No concept of personal space at all. And you've got uh, pea puffers. So I know Hannah the Brave and Connor would be a humongous fan of this tank with all the different pea puffers in there. Awesome little guys, and these are super healthy as well. They've all got full bellies. That's epic. All of your dry goods, planted tanks, they've got it all. Absolutely awesome. And then obviously they've got a, a tank section in here as well. So they're pretty much catered to absolutely everything that you could possibly need. I mean, that aqua on there, that complete setup is 3.9. Absolutely incredible. But the fish don't just end there. Even, even more dry goods. Ah, different turtles. You've got some moss turtles. Mississippi mat turtles. I know Lampy will be a fan of that. He's got some turtles in his tank. They do full turtle setups as well. Like I said, these guys have literally got everything. Absolutely awesome. I mean, it's just tanks upon tanks upon tanks. L106s. Uh, only uh, 22 for each. It's hyphen green phantoms over there. Is that? We'll have a look at them in a second because we're after a female. That's Buenos that's Aires, that's Tetris. So is them quarries. That's one of the red, is it cactus or like what's that? L25. That's a red. Baby bass. Oh. It's just absolutely awesome. Look at that big daddy in there. He's a beast. That's not one of them rare ones. Uh, sunshine Peck, I think that is. Look at these beautiful fish. I don't know, I wonder where, wonder where these have come from. Maybe a uh, iridescent Oh, wow. Oh, well, I've got it, mate. Apricot bulbs, they're interesting. Really interesting. Japan Lart Islanders. Bilger Armies. Like I say, the stuff that these guys have got is just absolutely incredible. I've never seen half of this stuff. No. And this is, this is the beauty about coming to a place like this that import from all over the world. The green fans. Torpedo barbs. Vetterac, looks absolutely awesome. The big green feet, right? White fin rosy tetras. Green phantom at the back looks to be female. Look at these. Extra large black widows.
uh, blind cave uh, textures. Have you seen these? They actually have no eyes. So these are found in uh, big lakes and caves in uh, like Mexico and places like that. Have you ever seen a quack take a ride on a whiptail catfish? I've never seen a quack take oh, a ride cool. on a whiptail catfish. Then whiptails are awesome. L25s. It just looks absolutely epic. The more you look, the more that you see. Here the uh, the giant shrimp that Sam was on about. Even more owl numbers in the back. Wild caught owl numbers as well, my head. They're awesome. Truly loaches. Sword tails. I've got them all. Uh, I thought they were pandas, but they're not. Grass catfish. L18's golden plex. Gold nugget plex, look at that. Some electric blue rams. Electric blue Jack Dempsey's. Two three nine. Let me know in the comments. Anybody keep any of these plex? Fire reels. Arowanas. Literally spend all day in here. Congo Tetris. Extra large tiger wards. Look at these. Super interesting fish. Green Phantom. Wild Sebs. L47 packed on the back there. Look at the size of them. Larger fire reel just down there. Picked his catfish. Old big L75s. The size of him. Beauty. Possibly. I think that's a Hassar cat. Super interesting. This is the beauty about coming to a store like this that it, it's stuff that you don't get to see every day. But the tanks keep on keeping on. 
even more around here. Oh wow, these are massive. There's the back of the fire hill that we showed you the face on a moment ago. That's those blue-eyed blue panickies. One of the rarest hellbunders there is. Some big clown loach in there. Super big clown loach. Some lovely angels. The Haku sword tails. All your dry woods, different bog woods and stuff, but there's some more tanks around the back that we've not got on video just yet. Like I say, it, it literally just keeps on going. Definitely, definitely worth a visit for anybody that wants to come down. More torpedo parts. Big L46 at the back there. I mean, look at that though. The tank in the on Tetras is going to be incredible. I cannot wait to scape the six foot community tank. Various different quarries. I don't think you can see that guy. Super awesome shot though, really easy to get to. Just off junction 25 with the M6. And then there's even more. <laughs> Florida guards. Twig catfish. And then look at this, these were actually bred by Pier Aquatics themselves. It's lovely arowana. Yeah. And then in here we've got a, a wild caught spoon. Panda quarries. Let me know, guys, what do you want to see in the uh, six foot tank? So, here's the babies that we've, uh, we've just brought in. These are absolutely incredible. Black Emperor Tetras. There's the big peacock that we brought in. There's the bircher. Some pretty big fish. Some African pike in here as well. Mascara bobs for the ladies. That's a Lenkulata uh, pike, so the label says. I'm not got a clue, never seen it before. Some 
a lovely angelfish. Lovely corner aquarium, flag tails in here as well. So those babies there will grow to be as big as him there. Again. Different lances. Severums. Hairy puffer. The hairy puffer. Absolutely incredible. So there we have it, quick little video on Pure Aquatics. I want to give a big shout out and a big thank you to Pure Aquatics for making the community tank a reality in regards to taking away the predator fish for me. Uh, obviously it's a very difficult thing to be able to move on predator fish. So not many fish stores will actually take on uh, a predator fish like um, I've just brought down. However, obviously these guys are super awesome. Happy to take them off my hands. Big shout out as well. Thank you very much for letting me walk around with my camera. Uh, getting everything on video, it's absolutely awesome. Uh, Pier Aquatics, just off Junction 25 of the M6. Definitely worth a visit, yeah. without a shadow of a doubt. It's just a fine visit for us today, but I just wanted to sort of showcase you what is actually on the doorstep for tropical fish lovers out there. Uh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, which is Apple Baldwin Reefer. Instagram is slightly different, that's at the dark Baldwin dot Reefer. But as ever, stay safe, stay sane. Most important, people stay happy. Baldwin Reefer.